we put in here, uh, Mr. Josh Skeller. Please, Josh. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Eric. I'd like to thank and commend the FBI, the NYPD, and the New York State uh, uh, Police for their bravery. Uh, it's heartening. Our police agencies collaborated so well when lives were at stake. And it's comforting that we have such heroes here as our first line of defense against terrorism. Terrorists were trying to divide us by targeting our synagogues. A strike against one house of worship is a strike against all houses of worship. Today we should all sh show our solidarity for Jewish New Yorkers as they cope with the news of this terrible plot. Nonetheless, we cannot let terrorists drive us apart. Today, New Yorkers of all faiths and all beliefs must come together through our city's leadership to forge a new, safe future free of terrorism and free of the politics of fear that it comes with. Um, and I'd like to thank particularly Eric Adams for being such a strong leader on issues of enforcement in our community for these many years. And uh, we're lucky to have you. Thank you very much, Josh. You know, the, uh, and I was a captain, a lieutenant, during Ground Zero. And I think those of us who uh, were there the day of, uh, we made a commitment to the state that if we wore a blue police uniform or blue suit, our determination would not change. And I'm going to live that out in the state senate. A clear message must be sent, and that is what we did today, was to show that we have the right team, we have the right coordination, and we have the right dedication to make sure that New York remains safe. And never again will we have to rebuild out of the ashes of the Cavalry Act. That's what our task was today from to hear from the from the leaders. A terrorist accomplishes two goals. One, to destroy, and two, to strike fear. The meeting today by having the Director of Homeland Security on the state and the FBI and other experts around this issue, we're sending a strong message and tone that you will not put fear and intimidation in Borough Park, Williamsburg, or throughout the entire state of New York. We are dedicated, we are committed, committed to ensure that this state is a safe, safe state and we have two of the best experts in the business that are dedicated to that. I, I cannot say enough how pleased I am of having uh, Terry, you part of the state team and your level of commitment uh, to protecting this great state of ours. Uh, we'll open the floor up to any questions that you, that you may have at this time and I want to again thank all of you for participating in, in this gathering. I have a question to yes. any of the Jewish leaders. Um, are, are there any specific concerns you had that the senator can address or that you want to address to law enforcement about your own safety? My name is Achille Kelton. I'm the director of the Barbara Jewish Community Council. First of all, I'd like to thank Senator Adams for his assistance in getting this meeting together and spearheading uh, this whole uh, meeting on Homeland Security for, for the safety of our community and, the community and all of New Yorkers. As you know, terrorists are those asleep and neither is our senator. He's always there when we need it. And this is an ongoing situation and he will be there whenever we need him in the future also to organize schools and synagogues so that we're able to protect ourselves and communicate together with him. So together with the law enforcement agencies that we have around the table now, we be able to protect our communities and our cities. Um, our concerns that we have is obviously uh, we, are more, we have many uh, synagogues in this community, many schools in this community, we need to protect them. And today we've heard from the law enforcement agents and from the senator's office and the senator himself how we can work together. And that's the first step and hopefully we will be having plans and we will be having groups together in order to make the awareness that we have to look out and what we have to look out for in the whole community.